I don't know if tiny houses will go down in value or not. I just don't think they're going to go up in value like a traditional home, and I wouldn't tie my money up in it for that reason. problem with tiny houses is not that they're evil or something like that, but there's going to be a very small percentage of the population that buys houses that are going to be interested in a tiny house. And so you don't have very many people chasing them. That's going to make them not go up as much as a traditional house. What's, What's up, YouTube? YouTube? It's your boy, Mari, and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Coat Nasa. <laughs> <laughs> First time. First line. Um. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mari. I'm here with my beautiful wife. Coat Nasa. And whether you love Dave Ramsey or hate Dave Ramsey, and trust me, most people fall in either bucket, today we're here to share with you the gray area in the middle that we have to struggle through. Yeah, so Dave Ramsey is known for having very firm positions on different things. Student loans, stupid car payments, stupid on steroids, $25,000 and $30,000 owed on their stupid car. It's a car! 70% of the Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That's stupid. The borrower is slave to the lender. I get airline miles. Said no millionaire ever. You know how you get $1,000 back from Discover? You spend 100000 Think, think, think. Um, we've seen in our personal life, whether it's just somebody that we actually know in real life, or whether this is the comment section or our Facebook group, um, there's sometimes that people that are right there on the edge that want to dive in and want to do this. But um, for one reason or another, they're just like, nah, I can't rock with this thing that he said or this thing that he said. We don't borrow money for investments. Credit cards, stupid. But everybody's counting their dadgum points and everybody's trying to figure out some way I'm getting, I'm, I'm beating up on Chase. Ch your, Chase is kicking your butt. And so they'll throw the whole plan out the window. And so we just kind of wanted to talk about some of the things that we went through that other people might be able to relate to and, and just say, oh, so I'm not the only one that feels that way or I'm not the only one that thought that. So today we want to share with you four specific things that we had to struggle through that was in the, that middle gray area I was talking about. Um, where some people will probably call us Dave Ish for it. Ishing your way along, Dave Ish, financial peace Ish, and, and there's just no excuse for it. But if you Ish it, you're going to get Ish results. Yeah, the Dave Ramsey elite, man, there's a, there's a, it's, it's pretty serious. It's kind of crazy. Like, there are people that are like Dave Ramsey to the wall. And I personally feel like we were actually like hardcore Dave Ramsey people. I don't think we were Dave Ish at all. Uh, we'll let you guys decide. We already know there's going to be somebody in the comments like, No, they didn't follow the plan. They didn't do things the right way. Blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, we paid off $125,000 in right. 24 months following Dave Ramsey's principle. These are just those little things on the side that have a little asterisk next to them um, that we, we had, like it's real life. We had yeah. to deal with these things and, and this is the best way that um, we could think of to address them while still following his principles and his guidelines in general overall. Yes, absolutely. So the first one is actually pretty quick. It's something that we've already touched on in another video. Um, but if you didn't know, when you're doing the Dave Ramsey plan, you're doing the debt snowball, if you will, you will organize your debt from smallest to largest. And so when we got down to the bottom two, we ended up actually switching them. So instead of paying on my student loans, because that was the second to largest one, we actually paid on the house instead because we were kind of expecting um, some money that didn't come through for my student loan specifically. So then once we realized it wasn't going to come through, we flipped it back and finished mine off and then we went for the house last. So that was number one, pretty quick and simple. So the second one is one I think that a lot of people can resonate with and it's the idea of getting rid of all of your credit cards. So us now, our credit cards are gone, we shredded them, we agree with the notion that you know you shouldn't play with fire, it doesn't make any sense, but it wasn't always that way. Um, very early on, I personally, more so than her, felt a very strong attachment to credit cards. And even though we had started on a debt-free journey, we started budgeting and we we're listening to Dave every single day, like it was still very scary to me 
um, to not have those credit cards as a backup emergency fund, so to speak. Actually, before we even started the Dave Ramsey plan, we never paid a penny in interest. We ran up the balances, collected the rewards, played the game, and, um, and, 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 and paid off the balance in full every month. Now when I think about it, having an emergency fund at 19% interest, you have an emergency and you have to go and put that on that credit card. That's almost like the worst interest rate possible you know, for something unexpected to come up. But that's another story for another day. E anyway, I felt like we couldn't get rid of them. I, I, I felt nervous about it. So we took them out of our wallet and we were just like, we won't carry them around with us so that we don't use them. But just in case, we'll hang on to them. You know, I was ready to get rid of them. And so when we were going through it, we were like shredding things up. And um, I was like, babe, let's shred these cards. And he's like, no, no. He just couldn't get down with the idea of the $1,000. That's it. Nothing back up. He was like, oh, no, nah, bro. And I was like, listen, we finna. And I just snatched it out of his yeah, hand. Yeah, we pulled the paper <laughs> shredder out. She literally snatched them from me and shoved them in there before I, I could even uh, think He was like, no. <laughs> but uh, we just say all that to say, you know, it's okay. It's natural, right? You've been using credit for so long. You've been like... Like it's hard to just cold turkey jump and make that switch on day one. We went through the exact same thing um, and completely understand it. So um, I do think people should get rid of them. I mean, I, I really do. Uh, but I wouldn't, you're, I wouldn't let your fear of not wanting to get rid of it make you turn away from the whole plan and Absolutely. say, "Oh, that's ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. No, I'm not going to do that." Don't, don't, don't take that extreme approach. Either. Number three and hear me all the way out on this, and hear me all the way out on this, and hear me all the way out on this, because it'll make sense when you get to point number four. Um, we actually did not intentionally destroy our credit. So what I mean by that is I wasn't calling up all of my open accounts and saying, hey, hold them right now. Like, I don't want anything to do with it. We just got rid of the credit cards, shredded them, threw them away, stopped using them, paid off the balances, and we just let the chips fall where they may. And we just said, you know, whatever comes with it, it will. Now, also, I ended up having something go into collections, collections, collections. Now, don't go running and telling my business now. Um, it was an actual, honestly, God, mis mistake and a mix up. Um, I had like a hospital bill that never came to me. You know, when it doesn't come, it just slips your mind. Um, they had the address wrong. And so just one day I was looking at my credit because, you know, they send me emails. And the thing said I had something in collections. That's how I know you won. I ain't never had nothing in collections before. That's not funny. I was mad. I was like, what the heck? Like, collections. And so, you best believe. And I could have said, I don't care about it and not pay for it. I mean, it was already in collections. What it was going to do, get worse? I don't. I already lost the points from it. But I said, let me go ahead and call these people and pay this bill um, and have them remove it from my collections, you know, off my credit. And so, it was all good. But, whoo. We're intentionally trying to keep them all right. Yeah, and so point number four, if you haven't been able to tell yet, that Dave would definitely disagree with would be <laughs> this tiny house uh, that we live in. Dave has been very uh, open about not liking tiny houses for the reason that they don't appreciate the same way a traditional house would. And I totally, absolutely agree with that point. But this is probably the main thing where we want to just say, you know, you have to follow his advice, but like do it in a way that you're still using your own mind. Like, for example, Dave didn't even know that tiny houses are on wheels. The tiny house is on wheels? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen any of the programs, but they're like on a trailer. It's built like a real house, but you can move it. Oh, I know what a tiny house is, but I didn't realize you could move them. Okay. I feel like the majority of them are on wheels. I don't have any statistics to back that up, but I mean, they do foundation and they do, but he didn't even know that. And that's not to bash Dave or anything like that, but that's just to point out that, you know, he was only looking at tiny houses through the lens of appreciation and how they will perform, you know, compared to a traditional home. I don't know if tiny houses will go down in value or not. I just don't think they're going to go up in value like a traditional home. And I wouldn't tie my money up in it for that reason. Problem with tiny houses is not that they're evil or something like that, but there's going to be a very small percentage of the population that buys houses that are going to be interested in a tiny house. And so you don't have very many people chasing them. That's going to make them not go up as much as a traditional house. But there is such a vast, vast pool of reasons 
um, outside of that, that people, you know, decide to go tiny, right? So for us, um, with me trying to promote up within my company, we wanted to have geographic flexibility. That was number one. Um, we also wanted to have ownership, you know, the same four years that we would have spent in rent will literally pay for this house. And so it's an offset. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a net zero after four years of living in the home. Um, so flexibility combined with ownership and then combine, combined with the future uh, return on investment that we'll get out of this. Like if we decided to go tra the traditional route tomorrow and, and, and buy a house, we'll put this on Airbnb and make money off of it. So combo on all three of those, I mean, it was a win, win, win for us, even if we were working on the day for mm -hmm. plan regardless. And the way that this ties into point number three that she was talking about as far as us not like intentionally destroying our credit is most of the people that you see go on the Dave Ramsey show and do their debt free screen, they're not talking about their mortgage. Paying off your mortgage early doesn't actually come in the in, in Dave Ramsey's like total baby steps until point number six. So some people they do go and they have paid off their mortgage and that's included in the debt free screen. But a lot of them are talking specifically about like consumer debt, student loans, car loans, all of that good stuff. So we felt like we knew that we needed to put the tiny house in our in our debt snowball and and prioritize it and get it paid off as fast as possible, especially for the situation that makes sense. Um, but because we might end up buying a traditional house with a mortgage, if uh, we can't get the money saved up, you know, as fast mm -hmm. as we need to, for, depending on the time when we decide to buy, um, we wanted to make sure that our credit was still solid, especially because it was already there. Like we're not out using credit cards in order to like boost it or like create it, but we already had really good credit to start with. So we didn't see a point in intentionally destroying it just because we're not, I guess, fully Dave Ramsey followers mm -hmm. if we did. Yeah. So speaking of the tiny house, um, a lot of y'all have commented and asked us like, when are y'all going to go on a Dave Ramsey show and do your debt free scream? Um, we actually think that's the reason why we haven't been responded to, to go and do our debt free scream on the show. So... Y'all go ahead and spam his comment to let him know. We want to see the bushes yeah, on the day Twitter, Ramsey show. Instagram. Add him on Twitter. Email, add him on Instagram. Anthony O'Neill. YouTube page. Chris Hogan. All of them. Blow them up and say, look, man, they've been giving y'all all kind of promotion on their YouTube channel. Let them come on the show because we want to go and we want to do our debt free screen. But uh, yes. it ain't working out so far. <laughs> so y'all let them know. Y'all blow them up and uh, try to help us get on there. And uh Yep. That would be amazing. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. I don't. Hey, but you never know until you try, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know down in the comments if you ever struggle with any of these things or anything like that. Because um, it's real, man. Different. It's real. Yeah, it's real life. Like, the plan is great. Like, we love the plan. Got nothing to get. Like, it helped us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, our lives are different. Like, because of that. Um, she's tapping me saying I'm going too long. So, either way, <laughs> we out of here. We'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> Don't let no subscribers catch you out and ask you some like, hey, Marie, what you think about? They gonna regret And whether you love Dave Ramsey or hate Ray Ramsey. <laughs> All right, come on, real quick, let's go. What's you wanna just delete these since I messed up so much? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you grimy, bro. She you is know. a comedic human. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My breast thing? Yeah. It doesn't tie into point four. It makes more sense when you hear point four. Two point four ties into two. Two reflections. You learning communication? I got you. You gonna teach me Creole? I'm gonna teach you English. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you so rude, bro. <laughs> <laughs>